Okay, this morning I looked at the fridge, my fridge, and I saw some uh, leftover roast chicken from yesterday. So what I've done, I wanted to bake some vegetables. So I went to the fridge and there was a lonely cabbage, carrots, and some uh, sweet corn cups in the fridge. They've been feeling sorry for themselves. So I thought, I'm going to do something with you. Don't worry. So I baked this in the oven for about 45 minutes this morning and I put it on the side. In here, I'm having some olive oil and garlic in there. I put a little bit of salt and then I immediately put all these vegetables in there. But you've got to make sure they you bake your vegetables and brown them nicely. Otherwise, it won't come nice. And then after that, I quartered one of my little lemons and put it in there. So this is ready for now. Because the vegetable was already cooked, this dish would take not more than five minutes to make. Adding to that, I'm going to put a little bit of hot water, only hot water, and some cassava. Or, if you haven't got a cassava, peel up tomato will do. And then I always say that if your dishes you're making is a little bit thick, you just add a little bit of hot water to it. And of course, if it's a little bit thin, you put a teaspoonful of corn flour in the cold water and add it to your dish. This is getting ready. And then I went to back to my fridge and I saw a cool little jar of chickpeas. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Wash it in both cold water because always when you're using any jar or tin beans, make sure you wash them in the cold water. And I'll put that one in there as well. How good is that? It was going to be wasted. I'm not going to waste it. So that's done. I add a little bit more hot water to it because I can see it's getting a little bit too thick. And then I come back to my chicken, roast chicken, which I did yesterday, and I just peel it apart. By hand, by your knife, whatever you want, just peel it off. But always make sure when you're eating it, there's a lot of little bones in this one, so make sure you don't chew on them. Leave it for four minutes. And then come back in here. It is like, you can call it a soup or you can call it uh, broth, chicken broth, or chicken casserole. Whatever you want to call it, it is, believe me, it is delicious. Especially winter coming 
and uh, it's getting cold. So this sort of food, it is absolutely lovely to have around. I get my dish, put it in here, and before I serve, I always, I like uh, red wine vinegar. I put just a squeeze of red wine vinegar in there. A little bit of salt. And believe me, it smells lovely. And I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to dish it. is my leftover chicken, roast chicken, with a lonely cauliflower, carrots, and a corner cob I found in the fridge. I hope you make it and you enjoy it.